To the Japanese, it was the shot heard round the world. An exchange student shot and killed while visiting the United States. Yoshi attended this Unitarian church with his host family several times. This night, people of many faiths gathered to remember him. This story has gotten a lot of international news attention because reporters from at least four different news organizations have traveled here to New Orleans from Japan. More than 200 people came to pay their last respects, his Japanese family and American family sitting side by side. Yoshihiro Hattori was completely infatuated with Americans. Right up to the moment, one of them shot him to death. The 16-year-old Japanese boy was in a program aimed at promoting understanding between different cultures. But his violent death only serves to underline the differences between Japan and the United States. Yoshi submitted an application to become an exchange student. Yoshi's first choice of a country where he wanted to live was the United States. He talked about how he wanted to cook for his host family. He talked about wanting to go fishing. In talking about AFS, which was the exchange student program, he wrote, no matter which country I go, it would be great if I can call that country my second home. Insofar as short, straightforward sentences that Yoshi might say, for example, we're here for the party, right. would he say that in clear, understandable English? Well, now let me pose an objection. I'm not sure that this gentleman ever heard Yoshi say those specific words. No, but using that as an example. I think, I think it would be very clear. He appeared to be a crazy man. That's what I thought he was. He was a crazy man? That's how I pictured him, being a crazy person. And he had this grin on his face, and I couldn't understand why was this person grinning. He was being told to stop, and he had a gun pointed at him. Was he frowning and yelling at you? He was, appeared to be laughing at me. Uh, Do you recall whether or not Mr. Pierce said that as Yoshi approached, he was smiling and laughing? Was there any personality trait of Yoshi which could be interpreted by you as aggressive or threatening in any way whatsoever? No, I, I don't think so. It, it wasn't really part of Yoshi's character. I mean, he was just a really friendly guy. Everything he did kind of added to people's sense of what a nice guy he was. There's been some discussion among certain witnesses as to how Yoshi did or did not talk with his hands. When he was talking, he would just kind of make gestures with his hands like as I'm doing right now but nothing that I ever considered to be aggressive. What was the skin color of the person you saw? I'd say it was a, uh, not a dark color, not a light color. He's kind of in between. screamed I I I ran to the neighbor's house to get him to call 911 911 what's your emergency uh, this is 10309 East Brookside there has been something happened next door it sounds like a gunshot people are screaming and all could you get somebody out here immediately okay I'm gonna get somebody out there do you sound like somebody's injured I'm or... not sure can you hold just one moment and I'll see if I can find something okay. else out please just be real careful okay I don't want you to get hurt then I went back to see Yoshi, and he was obviously in pain and hurting. Somebody is laying on the carport next door. I don't know what's happened. They just hollered at me to call you and get an ambulance out here. I told him 
can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? And he would say yes, but very weakly. He was sobbing in pain. And somebody's over there crying. I don't know. You all did this at all? I have no idea of anything. I just heard the screaming and hollering. My husband went. He told me to call y'all and get an ambulance. EMS, you're rolling over there. EMS and fire are responding at this time, sir. Okay. Yoshi thought, well, this must be where the party was. He turned around, a big smile on his face, saying, we're here for the party, we're here for the party. He walked toward Rodney Pierce. Rodney Pierce yelled, freeze. Yoshi said, we're here for the party. Rodney Pierce... Mr. and Mrs. Hattori left the court the same way they had arrived, carrying a picture of their son, Yoshihiro. Mieko Hattori read a statement after the judge's decision, saying that this time they leave Baton Rouge with truth and justice. We are satisfied to finally find out with whom the responsibility belongs. And Mr. and Mrs. P Seven days after my son's death, we began the petition drive for handgun control in the United States. Today, to Washington, D.C., we bring 1.7 million signatures collected in Japan. We started the petition, petition because we love America just as Josh did. It began before dawn, the unloading of hundreds of boxes, trucked and mailed in from across the nation. In the boxes, shoes. They were empty, but carried a full yet silent message crying out for specter gun control. They were arranged state by state, many with notes and pictures and stories of the victims who once walked in many of these shoes. They lined the Capitol reflecting pool, some 40,000 of them, representing almost that many people who die of gun violence in America each year. This is Ed Turney, News 7. Changes may come little by little, but we are sure that one day a safe America will come true. Only when that happens, Yoshi's life will not have been wasted. I feel sad. 
and I miss him, and he's, I mean, he's a great person. We had a lot of good times, you know, playing soccer, going to the Union, well, which is a place at LSU where a lot of people hang out, or at school, playing sports, talking. あの、ヨシロがまだ日本にいる Rodney has always said that he never wanted to touch the gun, hold the gun again. But when the case was over with, he filed a motion with the court asking to be given possession of the gun. And it's my understanding that he once again has the gun. 